everybody this is teacher Cheska and for today we will be doing science 9 day 4 morning session and the topic would be non-Mendelian inheritance okay so let's begin by answering our pre-test okay so dito sa inyong yellow pad paper um, write down the numbers for this for the what I know or pretest and answer with capital letters only by the way the objective of our module or this session is to explain the patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance okay, so answer natin yung letters A um, sorry just answer with the capital letter okay Let's continue. Let's continue. All right. So your first lesson is about incomplete dominance. You have to read through this. You have to go back to your old um, lessons before in science eight, the, like meiosis, and then continue. Um, recall what you learned about Mendel's law of inheritance. And you have the recessive and dominant genes, and of course, having alleles, okay? So, to better understand what is incomplete dominance, you have to read through all of this. Okay? And, pagkakuman, mag-answer din ta sa activity number one. Alright. So, activity number one, um, just copy and answer on your yellow pad paper. So, these are the two questions. Let's continue. Um, after answering that, you have to perform what I can do or what I can do. Uh, skip this part here. Okay? Also, on your yellow pad paper. Again, construct a Punnett square. And then use other flowers or animals at your house to produce offspring. So, kagaya ng mga examples para din sa taas, nagamit siya bulak, no? Flowers yung nagamit sa Punnett Square para makabuhat siya of offspring. Yan na. Kung gusto niyo mo koloran, pwede na po. Okay. Let's continue on co-dominance. This is on afterwards let's continue sorry here co-dominance is lesson two and here you will learn more no about um another um type of pattern okay so we call it co-dominance and then you have to give the phenotypic and genotypic percentages of the offspring produced so again we have to read through all this Okay, read through all that, and afterwards, you have to answer activity number one. This is it. This is activity number one, condominance, mysterious fishes, and you have to write it down, or write down your answers in your yellow pad paper, or on your yellow pad paper, your answer sheets, Okay. Now, the answer here, um, the answer here is in percentages, okay? I just want to recall on that, percentages. After that, continue with what I can do again and answer this in long band paper as indicated. Solve the given problem below and write your answer in long or on long band paper, okay? Now, before we end, because this is basically what you have to do, mura ni siya tananin yung buhatan karang buntag. Um, just to recap, I want to, I want you to watch something with me. Um, it's about our lesson, okay? So, just uh, listen, watch, and okay, learn. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay, I think this is good. Alright, this is from, um, what is this, from Khan Academy Medicine, 
this is really um a short a short video if you notice so three minutes and 27 but it explains your lesson so well so magwatch ta okay So today we're going to talk about co-dominance and incomplete dominance. But first, let's review the example of blood type, and how someone with the same two alleles coding for the same trait would be called homozygous, and someone with different alleles would be called heterozygous. Also remember the concept of dominant and recessive alleles, and how the A allele is dominant over the O allele in this example. This means that the same phenotype, blood type A, can result from these two different genotypes. Now, the example that I just gave you was an example of complete dominance. So if a person had a genotype AO, since our phenotype is just blood type A, it means that the A allele is completely dominant over the O allele, and only the A allele from the genotype is expressed in the phenotype. But there are actually three different patterns of dominance that I want you to be familiar with. And to explain this, I'm going to use a different example. So let's say we have this flower, and the red petal phenotype is coded for by the red R allele, and the blue flower phenotype is coded for by the blue R allele. So I'm going to introduce three different patterns of dominance, and they are complete dominance, which you've already heard of, co-dominance, and also incomplete dominance. And I'm going to explain what these two new patterns are through this flower example. So let's start by looking at three different genotypes and the phenotypes that you'd see for each of them under each different dominance pattern. So we'll start with the genotype two red R's, which we can expect that in all cases the flower petals will be red, since we only have red R's in the genotype. Similarly, if our genotype had two blue R's, then we can expect that in all cases the flower petals will be blue, since we only have blue R's in the genotype. Now these three different dominance patterns change when we look at the heterozygous example, and that's what makes these three patterns different. Now we're already familiar with the example of complete dominance. So if we said that the red R is dominant over the blue R, then this would make the heterozygous phenotype a red flower for complete dominance. Now what co-dominance is, is when the heterozygous phenotype shows a flower with some red petals and some blue petals. So it's when the two alleles are dominant together. They are co-dominant, and traits of both alleles show up in the phenotype. Now what incomplete dominance is, is when the heterozygous phenotype shows a mixture of the two alleles. So in this case, the red and blue flower petals may combine to form a purple flower. Neither allele is completely dominant over the other, and instead, the two, being incompletely dominant, mix together. So what did we learn? Well, if we assume the heterozygous genotype, red R, blue R, then there are three different dominance patterns that we might see for a specific trait. In complete dominance, only one allele in the genotype, the dominant allele, is seen in the phenotype. And this was the example with the red flower. In co-dominance, both alleles in the genotype are seen in the phenotype. And this was the example with the flower with both red and blue petals. And finally, in incomplete dominance, a mixture of the alleles in the genotype is seen in the phenotype. And this was the example with the purple flower. All right, um, I just want to um, stress, no? Ibalik lang na in the part. So, there are three kinds of dominance. And, dini, gipakita lugar niya na kanin R, muna siya ang gene for the petals. Pero dini, dominant ang red petals. Dini sa iya kay ang blue petals. Okay? So, kung complete dominance, and ang R, ang, dom, uh, ang red allele, ang dominant, no? So, tanan ang mahita bo, tanan offspring, mga anak, nila dua will be red. Okay? Kay dominant man siya. Now, kung dominant naman ang blue, syempre, ang blue na sad. Okay? So, this is under complete. Pero, di ni lugar, kung ang isa ka kung kani kung homozygous ni siya pareha sila og um alleles no so dua ka red dua ka blue 
so homozygous now muni siyang heterozygous meaning um different from each other hetero different homo the same hetero different zygous means gikan sa parents okay so heterozygous gani pag complete dominance na ay isa na mangibabaw so muni siya Kaya diri lugar, giset na nato daan na mangibabaw ang red. Okay? So, mauna siya ang sa complete dominance. Pag dito ta sa co-dominant, kagaya dito sa inyong um, lesson, um, dito sa mga cows, no? The red bull and the white cow. So, pag nasagol sila duwa, ang gawas, pareha ani, na ay red and petals o na blue petals. So, pag co-dominant, sila duwa dominante. So, magkita. Pag incomplete, muni siya tong sa first ninyo na example, na tong flower, tong red flower and white flower, na yung pink flower, ilang mga offspring or anak. So, dini lugar, red and blue flowers ang ilang offspring kay purple. Okay? So, I hope you get you get to understand our lesson for today and I will see you again soon for the afternoon session. Bye.